Jane, welcome. Congratulations on this series. It's so lovely. I imagine it's quite difficult to mobilise the younger generation sometimes. What, what kind of impact are you hoping that this show has? Well, I hope that they'll all get involved in wanting to do something and take action. I hope that the series will help them to understand that some animals are in grave danger and that they would like to help them have another chance. Do you think that tapping into their imaginations is key to that encouragement for them, encouraging them to do something? Well, I just hope that it does encourage them to have imagination because, you know, the kind of imagination I had when there was no television when I was growing up was very different. So every book I read, the characters were imagined. Whereas these days, the kids, you know, everything's on television. So they're not using that power of imagination the way that I was. So maybe this will encourage that. I hope so. Your work has quite literally changed the world. What is the main difference between us, do you think? Or how are we most alike with the chimpanzees? Well, we're most like them in that we kiss, embrace, hold hands, pat one another, swagger, have a violent side, wage war, have a loving side and can be compassionate and altruistic. And we're most different in the explosive development of our intellect. We're definitely the most intellectual creature that's ever walked on the planet, which makes it absolutely ridiculous that this most intelligent being is destroying its only home, planet Earth. Is that your biggest concern for humankind? Well, yes, I mean, we're facing climate change, we're facing loss of biodiversity, we're facing the killing of the soil, we're facing so many problems that have arisen because we have disrespected nature. You talk about this explosion of intellect, right? This constant search or pursuit of knowledge, really. Do you think that that's a good thing? Should we be trying to do that or should we leave room for mystery? Well, I think there will always be mystery in the unexplained. We will never come to grips with some of the deepest mysteries of life. Where the intellect has taken us with things like AI could be extremely dangerous. The intellect has created weapons of mass destruction, which is horrific. The intellect has created situations for animals like intensive farming, which is well, they're concentration camps for, for animals. And with our intellect, we shouldn't be behaving that way because chimpanzees open the door. Now we know that not just chimpanzees, elephants and dolphins, crows and parrots, even octopus, they're highly intelligent. They can solve many problems. Pigs, as intelligent as dogs, shut up in factory farms, in hog farms, shoved into crates where they can't turn around. It's absolutely shocking, shocking. In all that horror, where do you find peace? Well, I suppose I'm happiest when I get a few hours out in a forest, when I'm at Gombe, for example, and I can just go back and remember how it was when I lived there. But otherwise, I'm just always on email and Zooms and Skypes and interviews and all that stuff. <laughs> So nature's still food for the soul? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Well, that seems like the perfect place for us to end this chat. I have loved every second of it, though. Dr Jane Goodall, thank you. Well, lovely talking to you as well. Thank you. Uh, well, a moment. Do not miss the wonderful series Jane, which is out now exclusively on Apple TV+. Plus.